Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This little video is for the do-it-yourselfer and it's showing how to dig through gravel and tree roots when you're excavating the footer to put in your footer pipe. It's a little lengthy, not really, but hopefully it will give you plenty of information and good tips on how to do this. So, again, someone has poured you know, gravel, which was a good idea, but they should have put a pipe down here. <laughs> gravel by itself just won't solve a problem. Neither will sealing. And you can see that there's a black substance on the wall. This wall was sealed. But without the pipe, without proper drainage, the system does not work. So, basically, we've got to remove all of this debris, which is just debris now. It's just gravel. And remember... The other thing on your landscaping, even though these, these are Indian hawthorns, root system, pretty severe. Trees, make sure that they're a good distance from the house because if you don't, you end up with root system that grows, you know, seeking water. And there's definitely water throughout this gravel. And you can see how it's going down and under into the foundation, into the footer that water's traveling along these tree roots, and they're severe. I mean, they're all through the place. Makes it also doubly hard to dig through, cut a root, and then try to get through the gravel. But again, something you can do if you don't want to spend tens of thousands. So one of the hardest things that you'll dig through is gravel. And you can see, if you take a look down here, this has been poured with gravel along this foundation wall. Remember, foundation wall, footer, is what the foundation wall sits upon. We need to get down to the footer. Digging through gravel is really difficult because your shovel won't go down but just that far. And you scrape out the gravel, more gravel falls in. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. And it takes an extra hour, it takes an extra hour. Something you can still do yourself. Again, we've gotta go all the way across to the front door and through that wall comes all the way down it'll turn at the corner of the house that's where the sump pit is and it's deep something that you can do yourself but you know there's other options you could pay a handyman to take this out if you don't feel like doing it um, save quite a bit of money So again, doubly tough to dig. You can do it, but there's tree roots and gravel. So you have to get rid of the root <laughs> first. Then you can get your shovel started into the gravel. A lot of roots. Must be from this tree because we're getting bigger roots as we get here towards the end. <clears throat> and you can see you just can't sink your shovel down into the trench because there's rocks and they don't move. The best way to do it is get happy, sad, mad, whatever it takes. Just keep working at it. And eventually, you'll have your trench dug. We're going down here about two feet, pretty deep. Very deep for a Florida uh, foundation footer. But however build it, that's how they built it. <laughs> There's also a negative grade that comes from the sidewalk back to the house. Probably why they put so much gravel in here. So I know I'm showing a lot about this particular wall, but it is difficult and maybe anything I can show you will help. But um, you see this root, you can see how it's going down. And what it's doing is the bottom of a, the footer or the top of the footer or the bottom of the footer, here's the top right here is about two or three more inches. And this root is going under 
that footer. And you can see there's a whole bunch of them. As you look carefully along the wall, you'll see even more. Some are small, some are large. And again, you wouldn't think that a root this size is a big deal, but it's very difficult to get your shovel to cut it because it hits the rocks. So, what you can do, if you look over there, you'll see I've got my mattock. You use the mattock, you go through the trench, you loosen your gravel up as best you can, and then you use your shovel to clean it out. When you get to the root, you can go ahead and cut it here so you can get more gravel out, or you can try to find where it goes through and cut it. I usually just cut them. Right now I'm just showing you, you know, how this works and what's the problem here. Water travels along the outside of the root and goes straight underneath the home. Water comes up. If you've got hardwood floors or tile, they're going to buckle, crack. You've got problems. So remember, when you do your landscaping, these hawthorns are okay. And the tree is actually okay too. But root systems do travel and they'll go right up against your foundation and cause you major, major problems. In the through gravel, again, shovel can get through it, but it usually only gets down, you know, about a half an inch. Best is to use a mattock pick or the mattock end. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna break it up and then you can take your shovel and just scrape it right out. Takes a little bit more effort. But you can break up the gravel. And you can see it comes right out. Make sure you keep your trench wide enough to get your shovel back down in there. But this is compacted. And so all we're doing is loosening it up. And you can see how quickly I pulled that out. Find my shovel. <laughs> Move the top first. Just get it out of the way. But then you can come back and you can see it's really loose. You just slide through and you put it out to the side. So we'll have to make two passes because we're two shovels deep to get down to that footer. So we're progressing. You can see the trench along the wall going almost to the corner there to the garage. What we found is a lot of overpour stuff. Well, we won't say crap, we'll say stuff. <laughs> and it's very frustrating, especially for the do-it-yourselfer because you don't know what it is and you're gonna to have to break it out, um, you know, or you may get frustrated and stop. But I promise you that whatever it is, you can do it. You just gotta figure it out. I think there's a movie out called The Martian. Do the math, although we don't do math out here. You just do it. But we're almost there. You can see we're coming around this footer and then we'll tie into the rest of the footer system over here, we'll install our sump basin and we're just about ready to lay pipe. <clears throat> we're putting the liquid rubber on. We've got some gravel down there, already sealed portion of that. Now we're just bringing up a little bit higher onto the wall so that it doesn't go through the uh, mortar of the brick. So once you have your uh, liquid rubber installed on the wall, painted down to the bottom of the top of the footer, you can go ahead and install your easy flow or your gravel perforated pipe. Here we're using both. And you can see how we've got it coming through the wall, or excuse me, under the little knee-high wall. It goes all the way over to the front door. Remember how the system works. Water, some water does drop in this way, but so small of amount that we don't even measure it. What's happening is water floods up and we've got to get this pipe below the floor. That's the most important thing. As water floods up, enters the holes of the, the bottom of the pipe, and it's gonna run all the way around. And around that corner, there's a sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and sends it out to the street. Okay, so we have the front wall installed. You can see that it comes around here. We just switched over to four inch pipe. It's perforated, but it has a sock around it to keep the dirt out. That'll go into the sump pit here. We've got this back wall installed with the easy flow. And I'd like to show you one thing that's really important um, as you're digging out your foundation. Remember, this is the footer, okay? You can see we sealed the first block, the seam, that's real important, and then you paint up the wall as high as you need to go. But you need to get your pipe, if you can, at just below the top of the footer. 
they have a huge overpour. It'd be nice if it was closer, but it's not. So we've got, you can see we trenched along the side of the footer, not below the footer. We're not below, we're right along the side. Real important if you want your system to work properly. So once you plumb your sump pump, you can run it anywhere you want. Remember, you can send this uphill a good 30, 40 feet if you want it to uphill, um, or a few hundred feet with this M98. You can see we've got the M98 sits down in the bottom of our sump basin. Remember how we set it up? We've got the riser, the check valve, and what we've done is we've, we've drilled a two inch hole through the side of the basin, and that's the exact diameter of the inch and a half pipe. It's all glued up right now, comes around, it's going to turn, I just haven't plumbed the rest of it, and it'll run, you know, all the way out to the sidewalk. So this section is done. We're going to start to backfill, um, you know, the whole side here. This little section right here, we're going to throw some gravel here just to help that water get into the sump basin. We've perforated the side of the basin. And this is also perforated, this black pipe down here. It just has a fabric around it to keep the dirt out. So this is one pump, it's all done. They happen to have an outlet right here, which is really great. Some places don't, like around back. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, just a quick reminder, you know, I've said it a couple times, if you are interested in getting some work done by Apple Drains, I urge you to get on our schedule. We, uh, we are extremely busy this time of year, even up north, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, the schedule fills quickly. We're here in Orlando right now, and you know, if you need to be on this schedule, this is by far the busiest 